Number 36, holding on to a tow rope moving parallel to a frictionless ski slope, a 50 kg skier is pulled up the slope, which is at an angle of 8 degrees with the horizontal. What is the magnitude F of the force on the skier from the rope when the magnitude V of the skier's velocity is constant and B when the velocity is equal to 2 meters per second and V increases at a rate of 0.1? 0.1 meters per square second so we just have to draw a ramp because this situation over here is equivalent to this one let me make a draw okay so this is our slope let's say this is the skier and then we have a rope pulling it up okay so this is f rope so as usual, when we are dealing with ramps, we have to set our x direction and our y direction to be parallel or perpendicular to the ramp. So let's choose it to be x pointing upwards and y perpendicular to the surface. So those are our axes and this is the trick for solving ramp problems. Okay, so we have to draw the free body diagram. So we have three different forces. We have the forces of gravity, let's call it FG. We have the normal force, let's call it FN. And we have the force from the rope. FG is on the x direction and the y direction at the same time. So we have to decompose this vector over here. So we are going to decompose it into one f y g or ra rather better f g y so this is the y component of the force of gravity and this one over here in green is f g x which is the x component of the force of gravity this angle over here is 80 degrees and we can conclude that this angle is 8 degrees as well so when we are doing the decomposition of this vector over here we can write it like this fgx is equal to fg times the sine of the angle and fgy is equal to fg times the cosine of the angle okay so this is the components of our vector fg now we have to write this Newton's second law for each component separately. For example, let's we are, we are going to write this equation over here. The sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. For example, in the x direction, which is the only one that we need, we have two different forces. We have Fgx and F rope. So F rope, which is positive because it points in the positive direction of the x axis. And we have minus fgx, and this is equal to the mass times the acceleration in the x direction. So that's the only equation that we are going to use because we know the acceleration and we know everything else. We just need to calculate f rope. Okay, so f rope would be equal to mass times acceleration in the x direction plus fgx which is equal to f g sine of the angle and fg is equal to mass times gravity so this is mass times ax plus mass times gravity times the sine of the angle okay now we just have to replace the letters by the numbers and that's pretty much it we could write Newton's second law for the y direction, but we, we we would not use it in this problem, problem 36. Okay, so let's go for letter A, so F rope. We know that the acceleration is zero because the velocity is constant. We, we are not going to use this information over here, this two meters per second we are not going to use. So these terms cross out for letter A. So we have the mass which is 50, we have the gravity, which is 9.8, and we have the sine of 80 degrees. 
and this calculation over here gives us let's see 68 newtons so that's the answer of letter a for letter b we're going to do the same thing however in this case the acceleration is not zero so we have the mass which is 50 the acceleration which is 0 0.1 plus this number over here which is the same right 68 so this would be 73 newtons and that's the answer of this exercise